एवरीवन वेलकम टू डब्ल्यू क्यूब टेक माय नेम इज आयुषी जैन एंड गाइस इन आर टुडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट स्टोर प्रोसीजर्स इन माय एस गाइस व्हाट आर स्टोर प्रोसीजर्स हाउ डू वी यूटिलाइज देम लेट्स हैव अ लुक ऑन दैट स्टोर प्रोसीजर आर काइंड ऑफ अ फंक्शन जस्ट लाइक इन हाउ इन पाइथिन वी हैव अ प्री डिफाइंड फंक्शन विच फॉर विच वी कैन राइट अ कोड एंड वेन एवर वी कॉल दम इन अ प्रोग्राम अ सर्टन टास्क विल बी एग्जीक्यूटेड Similarly, in here in SQL, we have stored procedure where we can write a query and create a table. Whenever we call it, that table will call the data dynamically. So suppose if there is any repetitive task which you need to do every day, in that case we can utilize stored procedure so that you can store a query inside the procedure and whenever you call that procedure. that query will run and you will get your desired output and you do not have to write that query over and over again you can also make changes with the parameters before we start the video if you want to become a successful data analyst with ws cube then ws cube tech is bringing their premium data analytics mentorship program its cohort 2 is launching in september so if you want to be a part of this journey with ws cube then click on apply now now let's get started guys for example if i create a stored procedure i simply need to write create procedure and let's give it any name uh create procedure let's write any okay so i'm giving simply giving the name as any only what does it needs to do it needs to select uh any is already some uh, keyword over here so anything okay so select everything from customers this is what this procedure is supposed to do if i run this and uh, see over here on the left nothing happened let's refresh it you will now notice there is a arrow in front of stored procedure if you open it there is something called as anything let's call it in order to call it you can write call anything and you need to close the bracket and now run it so it will call the entire customer table you can also define that in here where uh, let's say the country is equal to usa okay let's call it us okay so now if i run this and refresh it you will now notice there's another uh, stored procedure called as us let's call it call us with a open close parenthesis now if i run it i'll get all the data from the customer table but where the country is us okay so this is how we can obtain our outputs similarly you can also change these parameter wouldn't it be interesting that whenever i call uh, from any country data i can directly write the name of that country and i get the data of the customers of that country so we can do that as well by little tweaking in the stored procedure how see we'll create a procedure let's call it country okay in the country we want to create a variable okay uh a variable whose name is a which is a where care because it, it's going to be country inside it okay so we'll give a input of variable which is a or you can just write where as well that we will give a input of a which is a where care where care will be of 30 uh, letters over here what is it supposed to do is that it should select everything from customers where the value of our country should be equal to a okay the a variable that we have created over here let's give it any other name country okay country seems fine to me you can give any name to this procedure you can write your own name as well okay so i have created a procedure called as country which is supposed to get the customers data of any country that i define so if i run it right now and refresh over here i'll have a country's data a country stored procedure when i need to call it i can simply write country let's also give any name let's give germany if you don't give any parameter name it would not work you need to give a parameter over here and now if i call this it will call all the customers from germany if i put france here it will give all the data of customers who are from france 
Similarly, if I put any other particular country over here like USA, it will give the data of USA. So it is dynamically changing and also as soon as new data will be introduced to your uh, database, it will also dynamically change the value as well. So I hope it is pretty much clear that how we can create stored procedures using MySQL and I hope that you like this video to practice more questions related to the topics that we have covered so far. You guys can utilize different platforms like LeetCode, HackerRank, SQLZoo, Data Lemur. There are many platforms. I hope you like this video and for more such tech related video, subscribe to our channel WSQ Tech. Thank you.